take a little time, welcome you to Harmonic Mechanism for the Mind number 42. Here we're going to be dealing with a progression that we memorize or read or somehow get in our brain and we're going to outline it with chord tones on the instrument so we have to know our pitches, uh, maybe at least chord shapes and we'll see what we can do here. I'm going to put a screenshot of the progression up right now and we'll discuss it afterwards. So I hope you've had a chance to screenshot it or copy it down in your notebook or memorize it. The idea is quite simple in as much as we're going to have a one minor chord, in this case D minor, with its five, A7, D minor to A7 to D minor. So we've gone one, five, one. D minor to A7 to D minor to D7 to G minor to its 5 D7 to G minor to E7 flat 9 ba do de do do de do 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 boo A7 da do with a flat 9 that's going to take us back to D minor so um, I'm not going to break down a lot of the pitches or the exact lines I'm using because we want to be able to start generating this for ourselves and that's what this channel is about as far as Baroque improvisation goes. So what if we have just I'll give you some tiny sh helpful shapes maybe. 7-6-5 D minor. How about 6-5-3 A7 flat 9 or and D minor, seven, six, five. And how about D seven, five, seven, five. And G minor, seven, eight, six to D seven, five, seven, five. G minor again, seven, eight, six. Now we need E seven. How about seven, nine, seven? And how about A7? I guess we could go here for the voice leading. 9, 8, 9. We could end up here. 10, 10, 10. So D minor to A7 to D minor to D7 to G minor to D7 to G minor and E7. A7. So if we start working through this thing in single lines, so that was D minor to A7 to D minor, now D7. So when we get from D minor to A7, we need to include the C sharp for sure, because the C sharp is the major third of A7 cues the ear that we're at some kind of a five. Now when I put F sharp here, it sounds like we're going to G minor. D7 is the five of four minor, which is where we're headed. So D minor, A7, D minor, D7, A minor to D7. D7, G minor, D7, G minor, E7. following lines A7 but I 
clearly know the arpeggios. So I would suggest uh, even if you just get the bass line sound in your head, D to A to D to D7, G to D to D E7. E Activate that motor inside of you that wants to mo motivate and activate a line. Uh, give a little brief example off the top of my head. So um, that's spelled D minor, A7, D minor, D7, G minor, D7, G minor. Now we need E7. Now, hope you can hear the progression G minor, D7, E7. mistakes they're for free hope you found something of value in this if you have any questions or would like a follow-up on this please do let me know and i wish you as always a very very good day